They're honoring John's brother, Luke, number five, calling the fourth quarter the fifth quarter. The fifth quarter is an inspiring true story about a family coming together after a devastating accident. I love you forever, little brother. One son dedicates his life to his brother's memory and ends up an unlikely champion. Background action. It has all the elements that make a great movie. You like the characters and you feel for the family. And then there is this spirit that revolves around a sport. We just all love that. Right here, right now, we gotta make something happen. Wake Forest was expected to come in last, but led by John Abadi, ended up as conference champions. It's a story we hold very sacred to our hearts, and just to share it with other people was, was hard at first, and when we discussed it, we, we felt like it would help other people, so that's why we went ahead and did it. If the story was going to be told, it had to be true to how events actually unfolded. That's my son! I just want to be with him! The scenes that I wrote, which were based in great detail on hundreds of hours of conversation and interviews that I had with the Abadi family, and I didn't just have the information, but I had the inflection of their voices and the emotions on their faces and the way that they interacted and spoke to each other. When we met him, we really felt connected to him and trusted him, because obviously we were going to bear our soul and our lives to him and, and expect that he would put this whole thing together in a script. But we trusted him from the very first day, and he's not disappointed us at all. Director Rick Bieber's attention to detail paid off in spades for the actors. You cared so much for them and what they had been through it revealed so much about who these people really were, rather than just reading a script. He's just not coming back. <sighs> Under Georgia law, he meets the requirements for being brain dead. The fact that they opened up their hearts and their story to be told into a movie is, is pretty brave. You know, it's, it's really an amazing thing. Veteran actor Aidan Quinn was instantly touched by the role. I knew when I read it, I would have to do this part. The story is just so transformative. It's the power of love in a family and what a family goes through when they lose one of their members and how they deal with it, particularly when it's a very young person. I dream of Luke. Marianne, he's here. I can feel him. I smell him. Aidan Quinn, I think, is really one of our great film actors. You believe everything that he does. You read all the emotions in his face. He's just very soulful and just incredibly real all the time. Quinn's portrayal was uncannily close to the real thing. To watch him play me and what happened, it's kind of surreal because he has captured my mannerisms and the words that I said back then were coming out of his mouth. I know you've been playing for Luke all year, but for this game, I want you to play for you. Andy McDowell has just tremendous grace and dignity. I think that this performance on her part has great strength. I'm portraying someone that lived a very real and true difficult story and so my goal has been to give it justice and to do a good job. I felt huge responsibility to Marianne to not mess this up. To me that meant everything, that she was so respectful and tender about that. I tried to clean his room today. You know, I haven't touched it since he left. Yeah, no, Mom. For Merriman, playing John Abadi was an emotional roller coaster. Through love of the family and love of the game, he bows back and changes his lifestyle and, and changes as a person. You just love to watch him and feel great sympathy and affection for him. Everything you do should be for you and for Luke. You've got to start living for two, man. Abate's real-life trainer, Steve Uriah, plays himself in the film. In that time, we discussed how he'd carry his brother's soul and how everything was. Not anymore for him. John, you can't do this anymore. I agree with you. That's why you're doing it for Luke. Three, two, one. Now he's proud. Everyone drew inspiration from a very special source, the driving spirit of Luca Body. I had a big scene and I was like, come on, Luca, I said, I need you, buddy, I need you today. Because more angels, the better. And Aiden said the same thing. He goes, I asked Luke, you know, Luke, just be with me today, you know, help me stay strong. We'll do a full rehearsal. We're shooting outside, recreating many of the football games that the team participated in. The guys are having a great time throwing the ball, rolling around the turf. It's unbelievable to get to play on the Wake Forest field. The main thing for me has been the jerseys. When you strap on that uniform, you become your character. You become John. This is why you're here, all right? 
That's why you got a scholarship. I go earn it. Have someone play you and ask you what you did on this play and that type of stuff's been crazy. The fifth quarter is a story about hope and about pushing ahead, even when life has dealt us a tough hand. You know, I think it's an incredible story that is being told, not just the tragedy what happened to Luke and with our family, but the incredible inspiration that our son Luke gave to his brother John. Luke was with you today, I know he was. This is for Luke. I think we all want our hearts to be touched. I think great movies do that. They make you laugh, they make you cry, and they make you feel something complex and deep. And at the same time, we're a country that loves great sports. We love the camaraderie, we love the whole team spirit, we love the opportunity to express big emotion. My hope is that the movie continues keeping Luke's spirit alive and his memory alive. His eyes.